A pretty common request I get on cam twist tutorials and demos is how the heck do you deal with audio? Well, there are really two ways to do this. One is by using some software by Cycling74 called Soundflower that allows us to route audio from the computer into applications like Ustream, Justin TV, Blog TV, so forth and so on. And the other is to do something like an audio mixer. Now this tutorial is going to show you how to do it using Soundflower, so you don't have to buy anything as everything is free, but it doesn't have the full control that an audio board would have. Let me show you what you're able to do. First off, let's look at the system without Soundflower on it. Here we've got Cam Twist. Looks good. If I go into my preferences and I go into general, you'll see my audio output device. I've got built-in line output, my default outputs, my Bose audio system, but there's no way for me to get my audio out of here and back into my live web stream. So if I'm playing a movie, no one can hear it but me. That's a problem. So we're going to go over to Cycling74's website, which you can go to cycling74.com, and you can click on the Soundflower section, but you know, just downloads Soundflower is where you're going to want to go, and click the visit the Soundflower Google Code page, which is going to bring you straight to their page where you can actually download it. I'll click on the Downloads tab. I'll grab the latest and greatest, which is 1.51. We'll go ahead and download that, and it mounts my disk image and we'll double click to install Soundflower. This is going to add a new system input and output device, a virtual sound mixer. I'm just going to continue through all of this, blah, blah, blah. It's asking me where I want to install it. I'll install it on my default drive, and I'm not even going to customize it. I'm just going to install it and enter my password. You will need an administrative password in order to install this software. By the way, if I didn't mention already, it is completely free, so you don't have to worry about doing anything there. And we'll just close out of this. I don't need these windows open anymore. And I'm going to close out of Cam Twist because it needs to be closed. And we'll give it just a minute to finish up what it's doing. All right, and now that we've finished, we're going to go ahead and close this out and reopen Cam Twist. Now, if I go back into my preferences over here, you're going to see I have a couple new options under audio Soundflower 2 channel and Soundflower 16 channel. So now what I can opt to do is instead of sending my audio to my built-in line output, I'm going to send it to my Soundflower output right over here. And when I open up Ustream, for example, and then I go into my shows, and let's go ahead and actually just broadcast on this channel because I don't use it you're going to see that I have a brand new option available to me under my audio source. And that is Soundflower 2 channel. So now what's happening is I'm routing out of Cam Twist into Soundflower 2 channel. And then I'm taking that, routing that back into Ustream, and now Ustream is going to play back any audio that I've got from inside of Cam Twist. The problem with this method is that now I can't hear anything, so I have no idea what's going on. Uh, they do have a solution for that. If you go to your Applications folder, you're going to see a new Soundflower option in here. And there's an option called Soundflower Bed. When you launch that, a new menu option is going to pop up here. It looks like a little flower. And you can choose what you want to monitor with. So I've chosen, I've got some Bose USB audio system. I can choose to monitor with that. So now I'm going to be able to hear what Cam Twist is outputting, both through my regular speakers and through Ustream. Now the advantage of this is it doesn't cost you anything. You're able to start streaming and get your audio in there today, but you'll notice that there's no way for me to get my microphone in there now. It's either going to be the audio from Cam Twist or the audio from your microphone, but not both. You're going to have to either manually switch them inside of Ustream or you're going to have to find some other routing solution inside your computer to make that work. If you want to do something like that, you probably want an audio board, and that is a different demo video.